Howdy everybody, welcome to McHugh's Views, the channel where I give you my perspective on things, whether it's the perspective of my camera lens or the perspective of what's going on up in my noggin, primarily related to uh, gear reviews or outdoor adventures. And speaking of outdoor adventures, that's what this video is all about. About two weeks back, I drove about two hours northeast of Boise to Paradise, Trinity Hot Springs specifically, where I started my three-day adventure on the Thunder and Paradise bikepacking loop. I'm going to pretty much consider this my really first time doing bikepacking. I did one trip up in the Boise foothills, which you may have seen that video, but this one was a total butt kicker for me, and you will see that in this video. So anyway, I just wanted to take you guys along. I will leave a link in the description below for the Thunder in Paradise bikepacking loop, which I found on bikepacking.com. Excellent resource, by the way. Yeah, sit back, grab a bottle of water, because I know sure as hell I needed one, and enjoy the ride. I do believe that may have been the hardest thing I've ever done. Very thankful that I have these plus size tires right now as I'm pretty much riding on a beach. So, waking up at uh, Riverside Campground near Atlanta, Idaho. My GPS crapped out on me in about 6.8 miles. I had to just kind of navigate through the little downloaded map without knowing where I was specifically. So that kind of sucked. Not sure about kale and bean stew. I mean, I ate it because I felt like I needed to eat, but I wasn't didn't feel hungry, but I think it's just because I felt sick a little bit. Yeah, Man. like I said, probably several times if I was talking to the camera, that kicked my butt. And I have a lot further to go today. So I think I need to make sure I stay hydrated because my legs were cramping up a little bit. But I am looking forward to getting out and getting moving. Dad, thanks for the hat. Pretty rad, check that out. Keeps your head warm and you have a light. Whoop. Whoop. Let's get started with the day.
on Trinity Mountain Road. 10 miles out of Atlanta, this direction was pretty awesome because it was downhill. I apologize for the shaky footage, but a little unstable. But also the air is getting real smoky. So well, that's not good, especially because I got to go uphill for another five miles probably. Oh, better get back at it. So that's the road I'm riding up. Not so. day but I feel like I'm approaching the summit of Trinity Mountain. So I've had false hopes before about being at the top, but I'm hoping this is it. Trinity Mountain Road, you definitely kicked my butt. <laughs> I probably said that so many times, but I am very grateful that I'm still able to do this, even though right now I'm thinking it's a little nuts and all the ATVs I saw go past me, I was a little jealous. But I think this is it, I hope. Back to town, downhill, I hope. Folks, so that was a look at the Thunder and Paradise Loop. 98 miles, a little bit over 11,000 feet, and three days of excruciating pain for years truly. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys liked it. Stuck around to the end. And yeah, hit that like button if you did enjoy it. Think about subscribing and hitting that notification bell so the YouTube guys can let you know when I have another video. And until then, I'm McHugh, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. That was so dumb. See you later. Ugh. Mother. <laughs>